Are you guys tired of flipping through different channels trying to learn how to edit and everything that you're seeing just seems so complicated? Well in this video I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit. Okay so what I did here is I went ahead and recorded a pre-intro video just to show you guys. Whatever software you use for editing whether it be well I don't know there's so many out there. It's all basically the same thing. Same basic concepts. I use DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty good. I've been using it for about a year. Um, I actually taught myself how to edit. <laughs> um, you know, I've watched a couple of videos. They were all very complicated. Like, hey, do this, that, go to this part of your. And I was like, I don't even know what this means. So I just playing around with it. I taught myself. And I'm not the best at this, but I will teach you the basics. That way, you can kind of skip the the problems that I had. The basics to getting a video out there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to break this down for you guys. I have my videos right here. This is the video that I'm going to be using, um, but before we, you know what? Just right click it. Don't change the frame rate. It's going to bring it up. Now, if you guys don't know how to get your videos up here, okay, first of all, what you do is go to any your any of your streaming software. I use Streamlabs OBS. I love it. If you get your video device, you got the tracks that they're recording on. I have three separate tracks. Uh, your microphone is going to be on one and three, and your desktop audio is going to be on one and two. Because if it's also on one and three, you can't really record the sounds differently. Like it's it's going to be on the same. So if you try to lower your my voice, it's going to also lower the game voice. So you kind of want those on separate tracks. And when you set this up, I think you can go into your settings. I forget where. I, I don't know exactly where it's at. But when you sign up for this. Like if you if you have Streamlabs and when you sign up, it'll ask you where do you want your videos to be directed once they're recorded. So I have mine in a in a folder. I can't it's just clicked off of it. I have mine in a folder called Audio Tracks. These are all the ones that I've already recorded, and then I have you know finished games to where they come over to this folder when I'm done. Then I upload them. Now if you guys are also, I'll get into this other part later about you know putting in pictures. Uh, sound effects all that but right now I'm just trying to teach you guys the basics so we have our video up okay what you want to do is drag this down into I don't even know what this stuff is called I just know how to do it <laughs> alright so we have the intro and since I'm recording on three separate tracks track one and track three are gonna be the same so we just we just cut that out okay so these are my audio tracks um, this is the clip play it back are you tired of flipping through different channels trying to figure out how to edit okay see that, that you that's the intro so complicated well in this video today I'm going to be teaching now what I'm gonna be teaching y'all is just how to edit just base just this I have this little clip just to give you an idea so you know how to push your content out okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the volume is not gonna be too low or Are you tired of flip see normally if you're playing a video because I'm a gaming channel if you're playing a video game it'll pop up on this bar since there's no desktop audio coming through there's nothing there but what I like to do is match the voice get it right where you want it where it sounds are you tired pretty of flipping decent through different channels and then your your desktop audio I would put what is that at 11.15 uh, I would put it probably like at at 9 Okay, so it's like it's not over drowning it. All right. So now, I'll say you're watching your video, like the very couple of seconds. See that? Are you tired of flipping? How there's a pause? You don't want that in there, okay? Go to your editing software, and um, you can do it from, well, DaVinci, you have this tool right here. Blade Edit. Now, if you switch to Cut, see, right now I'm in the Editor tab. If you go to the Cut tab, there's right here. I think it's Trim Split Clips. I do everything from the editing tab because it's just it's it's easier for me. Um, so what you do is you find out where you want to cut it at. Are you right where he starts talking? See that line right there? He <laughs> right where I start talking. You're gonna go over here, and you are going to cut that. I probably should I should, I should probably cut that a little bit more. And now you're gonna highlight these selected clips and ripple cut. I always do ripple cut only because when you cut it, it fills in the gaps. If you regular cut it, there's going to be a gap there and you have to go back and move your stuff. 
Now see if you do ripple cut it go ahead and blends everything in. So now that you have that cut are you tired of flipping through different see channels? See that? See, I'm trying see, to I'm figure out much how to better that looks? everything that you watch that seems so complicated. Well, in this video today, right. I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit. So now, you right here, basics of how, how to, to edit. edit. Let's say you want to make your video a little bit more appealing. You want to add some stuff in there to make it seem stand out. Okay, go to your editing software, and in your editing tab, there should be like effects. See, I've only used DaVinci, so I'm not really sure. Now, if you guys want, leave a comment, suggestion, anything in the comments, and I will definitely reach out. I'll, I'll try different stuff, and I'll get back to you. But on here, let's say we're going to add some text for right where he says how to edit. He. So how to edit. Okay. So with him saying that, we're going to basic title. Okay. And now, if you see, when you brought that down, I'm recording on three tracks, right? Track one, track two, track three. And of course the video, that, that's always gonna be there. So what you wanna do, if you want to put something else, like right here, cause if not, it'll it'll go right over your video. You could just either bring it down or right click, add track. See, now that just added a whole nother track. Video track one, video track two, video track three. So what we do is, this is where it gets tedious. You want to line it up. And everything that you watch just seems so complicated. What you can do also is zoom in and it'll you'll, you'll get a better pinpoint of where you need to put things. Everything that you watch just seems so complicated. Well, in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how. See right there, how. So what you want to do is click on this, your text, basic title. Come over here and just type in, let's say, how. Okay, now that's where he, that's where I start saying how. So you want it to be about right here. So when I say it, the text the pops up. Of how. Okay. Now you can also click on the text and uh, right down here. Let me move this down so you guys bigger picture. You can change everything about the how. You can change the font. <laughs> Got a lot of them. I'm just gonna keep it basic. Um. Bold, italic, and anything you want. You can even change the color. Okay, how? We're gonna change the size. We're gonna reposition, <laughs> reposition it over here. Come up. Oh, oh. So I'm just trying to help you guys do this because this took me a long time to to learn. Like I've done it all by myself, just going through stuff. All right, so we got the how of how, how to edit okay three these bars right here the voice how to edit so what we're gonna do is drop another text down about right there and then we're gonna have to add another track boom drop another one down oops I went too far <laughs> about right there so we got these three now you go up here, click on this one. Make sure you're clicking on this one because if you accidentally clicked over here and you start typing, it's going to change this or even this other thing. If you're not on the the text that you're trying to type on, like you're over here and you're just typing, like it, it, you're not going to see it. Your cursor has to be over it. Okay, so we're going to go over here. How to. Okay, we're going to change that to purple I don't know just something we're gonna position this we'll make it a little bit bigger how to put like right here to edit okay edit come over here and see people don't when you're watching a video you just you just see it happen a lot of people don't realize the kind of work that it takes to get these things to happen how to edit let's make this one green like I'm not actually gonna upload this little clip that I have right here this is just me trying to show you guys how to do it wait yeah change the size come down oh let's zoom over here change the Y uh, you'll, you'll get the hank of it <laughs> how to edit okay now you want these to line up pretty nicely so hold on 
I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit. See that? Look how clean that looked. And then what you do is you don't, because if you have this text all the way out, it's going to play so how the entire edit. time until that text box is gone. Is that better? So what we do is we want it to where it's going to edit. It's so right there, how to edit. And then I stopped. So what we do is we take these right where right where I stop at, and we trim off the extra. Just go in here, just cut that one. Don't need to ripple anything. So now when you play it back, let's zoom out. It'll look like this. Well, in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit. See? It's that simple. Like I was so I was so happy when I found that out because I was like, dude, this is just and they have a bunch of different boxes too. Like that is just the text. They have a like background reveal where whatever you type in, it like it like it's it's pretty cool. They got a lot of them. Like that was just the basic one. Like you can experiment with these. Center reveal, look, it just comes out. There's a lot of these different ones. But I'm just using the standard to show you guys. All right, now let's say you want to add a sound effect to this text for when it pops up to edit. See, right now it just pops up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to get sound effects. Okay, it took me a while to learn how to do this, a lot of searching. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, let's say open up Internet Explorer. I don't really use Internet Explorer, but well, so far I use uh, Firefox, but this this website right here, Dashboard Streamable. OK, it's an awesome. It's it's a good website. These are all clips that I have. <laughs> um, so what you do is open up a whole nother tab. Let's say go to YouTube. And Okay, so let's just type in funny sound clips. I feel like I have my caps on, don't I? I sure do. All right. How long is this one? Three minutes. All right, let's just say this. Look, funny fart sound. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. That was a funny fart sound. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do from here is... Take this link, right click, copy, dashboard streamable. You are going to have to sign up for this. It is free. Um, my account is free, so it deletes my videos after a certain amount of time. But I'll tell you, it only deletes it from dashboard streamable. If you save these videos to your computer, you'll still have them. So since we just went here and saved that link, go into dashboard streamable, upload URL, paste. Okay, it's gonna keep looping. So from right here, you can decide where exactly you want it to start and end. That's horrifying. Okay, so let's just do the whole thing. It's only a two second video. Go to create video. Okay, after you do that, it's gonna process. And then from here, more download links download HD and now once it downloads you go over to your download folder downloads you have it right there now what I like to do so I keep everything see I have a sounds folder where I keep all my stuff at type in I don't know funny fart okay so we know what that is drag it put it in the sounds boom all my sounds are right here okay so let's incorporate that into the editing software well we're not gonna do the fart sound because <laughs> we're gonna do a mouse click something else that I already had so you what you're gonna do is come back over here you're gonna import media now every editing software should be about the same all right I'm gonna go to sounds or we're gonna type in I, th I think I have a mouse click right yeah mouse click all right look it up bring it in and now when you put this up it's going to show the sound clip okay you don't want that to be shown so what you can do is find the track that it's on this is one oh shoot 
one, two, three, four, five. Now you want your text chats to be shown, but you don't want this. You just want the audio, which is right here. Hold on, did that? Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do is go to five, and they have mute the track, which means everything on section five is gone, or disable track, which means all the video on section five is gonna be gone. So we're gonna click that. All right, so take that back over here. Take that right there. Copy. to edit put that right there copy paste copy paste line these up perfectly all right now that they are in line so I know like when you're looking at stuff like this it's pretty confusing but it's all real simple it really is so now when you play it, it's gonna look like this you watch it seems so complicated well, in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit. See, just that one little sound clip, like putting it in there, it just, it brings it out a little bit. It makes it, you know, like come to life, like you're doing more with your videos. Now, what I would recommend is you guys, I mean, you do what you want. I'm just here to try to help you that way you don't have to come, you know, face the obstacles that I had. I mean, I did it on my own and, you know, as a, as a new channel youtuber trying to make it i know a lot of you guys you know whether you have a channel maybe you're doing this for just a hobby i just want the help so you don't have to face what i face like i know a lot of people out there on these channels are selling books on how to do this i'm not about that i'm just trying to help my fellow gamers fellow whoever is trying to watch this to learn something i'm all about progression basics of how to edit see and then i stop is that better and i start talking to my wife so what we're going to do is clip this and what you can also do if you want to throw something funny in there clip it all the way down make sure it's lined up once again the line like if you clip it here the line will stop you where that clip's at see it'll stop you like that's right where it's at so these are all lined up but we don't want to do that um let's say you can bring this whole thing over however far you want we don't even really need this because there's no oh, I'll keep it there just so you guys don't get confused and then come back to this import media let's say you want to add something silly what, what do we have let's do a uh, we'll, we'll put a core Kenshin clip in here <laughs> I'm gonna tag him in this video alright so we're gonna put him right here okay so what you want to do is now that this is lined up right where this ends we are going to move that back to the end of that that way it'll this these bars will play after this one if it's like this this sound will play as your clip is playing you don't want that I mean unless you do want that uh, but <laughs> so now it'll do this I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to edit where are your parents where are your parents okay see and guys that's about it you know I'm gonna make this video short and sweet that way you guys can watch it rewatch it if you still have questions you know if you, if you forgot something go back over it. any comments you know let me know let me know if you have any suggestions anything like I'm here to help I'll definitely help you guys as much as I can do me a favor Hit that, hit that subscribe button for me. It takes a second. I really do appreciate it. It helps me to push out more content like this. I know I'm a gaming channel, but I'm also doing this to try to help you guys. It's just something, food for thought. Like, I know I spent a lot of time trying to research this stuff, and I just really want to help somebody else. So, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let me know what you think in the comments. Love you all, and I'll see you gamers in the next video.